Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Yee Spectre, a new piece of iOS malware. Now, before I jump into the story, I'm sorry I haven't had a video every day. I'm attending IT Expo, a Gartner conference here in Florida, so I simply can't do a Daily Byte every day, though I'll try to do as many as I can this week. In any case, today's story is a new piece of iOS malware which was discovered by Palo Alto's research team. Long story short, they named this malware Yee Spectre, and they found it spreading in China and Taiwan. Now, it spreads a lot like all the other Chinese iOS malware. Either you'll go to a forum and download a third-party app, or in some cases there'll be malicious advertising that redirects you to a site that tries to get you to install this app. Now, to summarize this malware, there's really two interesting things about eSpectre. First, it works against non-jailbroken devices as well, so any iOS device out there. And second, it's the first in-the-wild iOS malware that leverages Apple's private APIs to do some malicious activity. Now let's talk about how it works against non-jailbroken devices. Like past iOS malware, for instance Mask or Wire Lurker, uh, eSpectre takes advantage of something called enterprise provisioning. Uh, this is where Apple allows certain enterprises to have a special certificate that allows them to uh, install software on those iOS devices they own without the software having to be in the App Store. In any case, this malware takes advantage of this enterprise provisioning to actually force malware onto non-jailbroken devices. So in a nutshell, if you visit a malicious website with your iOS device, you might get a pop-up asking you to install this provisioning certificate to install an Apple iOS application, which could be malware. The second interesting thing about eSpectre is the fact that it leverages Apple's private APIs to do malicious things. For instance, you can open a legitimate app and it will leverage these APIs to put a full screen ad in front of that application. Now there's been research papers in the past talking about the potential of using Apple's uh, private APIs, but this is the first in the wild malware that actually does that. That said, there's a lot of good news about this malware. According to Apple, the malware really only works against iOS 8.3 and earlier devices. Ever since iOS 8.4, they fixed some of the private API issues that this malware leverages. On top of that, installing this malware on a non-jailbroken device will require your users out there to accept an enterprise certificate. So really, the takeaway here is number one, only install iOS applications from the official App Store, but number two, too, if you ever visit a website that tries to get you to accept an enterprise provisioning certificate, that's a good chance that it's something you may not want on your phone. Now besides the user interaction required for enterprise provisioning, the latest versions of iOS put even more security controls around these enterprise certificates. So long story short, if you only install stuff from the App Store and you don't accept uh, random enterprise certificates, you should be pretty safe from this malware. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.